Welcome to the wide world of esports, a show devoted to all things esports. I'm your host, Catherine Noor. Today, our topic is esports health and vitality, leveling up your wellness game. My guest is Glary Klein, uh, Gary Kleinman, the founder of Skins GG. Welcome, Gary. Hey, nice to be here. Nice to all talk right. to you in Hawaii. Fantastic. Well, Okay, so we want to hear about Skins GG. What is it? What is it? It's a health and wellness platform for gamers. Uh, the history behind it, uh, quite simply, is if you look at traditional stick and ball uh, athletes, uh, athletics and sports going back 25 years, uh, they did not have any health, wellness, or nutrition. You go to traditional sports now, they all have health, wellness, and nutrition. And that's, you know, whether it's Pilates, nutritionists, um, and gaming and esports, with the growth and the dollars involved, it's going to go into that direction as well because of the extended uh, time people not only game, but the dollars involved and the franchises and what have you. So we got ahead of it and created a platform um, for health and wellness. And when I say a platform, we have you know a wide variety of products. But in addition to that, there's a job board because our tagline is we power your performance. And we look at performance, not only as gaming performance, but life performance. So you can get a job through our site. We're adding a couple neuroscience games to the site, which we can talk about. So really our, our ethos is to power the life of gamers um, across all their touch points. Well, Gary, this is really interesting to me because I've spent many years as a triathlete and a runner. I did a number of marathons and one of the most important things that we used to fuel our performances was like electrolytes and uh, various gels that we used because if you, it was interesting, if we had a bad performance, a lot of times it was because of our nutrition and because of our hydration and electrolytes. Um, so I was very interested in Skins GG because of the fact that you are providing that very essential in-game nutrition for athletes as they play. So tell us about the um, nutrition that you offer for during play and, um, you know, whether it's competitive, sure. um, you know, like esports or versus gaming. Yeah, so we look at um, our, our market, if you will, is, is esports, obviously professional gamers but also the casual and competitive gamer. I mean, a gamer is a gamer, and, and there are a lot of physical ailments that are kind of unique to gamers, and that's pain, discomfort, uh, focus, anxiety, sleep deprivation, uh, healthy eyes. So we looked at a whole range, and all of our products um, are scientifically tested. The pain relief is actually based upon a formula from an Israeli pharmaceutical company that developed it for anti-inflammatory conditions like IBS and psoriasis. We found by adding 1,000 milligrams of CBD, it had tremendous efficacy for topical pain relief. But the in-game um, experience is we have an energy product that um, is not going to give you a, a, a high or a crash. It's just going to elevate your focus. Um, it's interesting that you brought up electrolytes because we have a new product Hopefully we'll launch it in a month. I've been eating or tasting, if you will, electrolytes, uh, signing off on flavors for the last three days. But most people don't realize uh, you will, because you just gave us that interesting history about your athletic background. Hydration and electrolytes are actually two separate functionalities. Hydration is really about fluids. Uh, electrolytes is magnesium, calcium, sodium, uh, chloride, and that's what really fuels your cells. And we looked at this and said, um, what do gamers need? They need to fuel their cells. They need to stay focused and electrolytes will do that. It, it, it also does several other things and without getting it uh, too scientifically, but it's really, really important um, to replace your electrolytes. Most of the hydration products in the market, in fact, I venture to guess every single hydration product or electrolyte product is a powder you put into water, you shake it up, and you drink 32 ounces of water over whatever period of time. And it's the combination of that that, that people take. 
Uh, and that's true whether it's um, uh, Liquid IV or Noon and some of the other products that are out there. I looked at that with our product innovation team and said, one of the things we don't want people to do, or we find that people don't want to do, especially gamers, is to get up in the middle of the game and have to go to the bathroom because they consumed so much fluid of 32 ounces over whatever period of time. Our electrolyte boost is a concentrated um, powder that you do not need water. You just put it on your tongue and swallow it, and you're getting your electrolyte. And we have a wide variety of flavors. Um, it, it really tastes like candy, um, even though there's no sugar in it. Um, it it's, fa it's a fascinating recipe or uh, formulation that a food scientist uh, came up with. And I love it. I mean, I've been having you know, what a grape, lemonade, strawberry, hibiscus, um, and a couple other interesting flavors. So um, it's really about allowing people to perform and do what they're doing longer without the intrusion of getting up, going to the bathroom, drinking, and, and what have you. Sure. And, you know, the, it sounds like it's quite portable. Is that right? Yes, it is very portable. And because it's not water dependent, uh, you can put it in a backpack. You're, you're talking about a four gram serving. So it's a tiny pouch, um, if you will, tear it off, put it on your tongue, swallow, and you're done. Sure. So um, let's go back a little bit. Um, why did you create the company? What you, led you to an esports gaming type company <laughs> rather than rather than address a different market? Uh, I tripped across esports about six and a half, six years ago. I read an article about a Canadian female gamer uh, who played. Uh, League of Legends tournament, Madison Square Garden, and the article said there were 17,000 people there. And I obviously thought that that was a typographical error because I just could not fathom 17,000 people watching somebody play a video game when I'm even throwing my kids out of the house saying shoot hoops and, and, and stop getting bed sores and all the kind of things that parents have a way of saying to their kids. And I, I have for many, many, many years owned an entertainment and sports marketing company. And I was fascinated by what was going on numerically, if you will, and the engagement in esports. So I took several months to really learn what was going on in gaming. And my takeaway was that esports or, and or gaming is not about the game, it's about the community around the game. And that's pretty powerful, uh, the communication, the engagement, and what have you. So I ended up creating a digital media network called WAM that was about the lifestyle and culture of gaming. Um, an OTT platform still runs on um, Comcast and a few other services. But what kept coming up as we were doing uh, production content, the doctors were telling us that their practices were exploding with injuries from gamers. Gamers were telling me, hey, you know, I've got sleep deprivation. I'm gaming till one in the morning that I can't sleep. I have to get up, go to work practice whatever it is, um, their eyes were being strained, their hands were hurting, their necks were hurting. And as gorgeous as these gaming chairs are, they're not really ergonomically sound for extended gaming. So they had all these physical and, and, and psychological conditions that was coming from gaming. And I thought, well, who's addressing that? That is a lifetime issue. And since gamers start young, you know, a 14 year old that, that's gaming eight hours a day is going to have an early on site of carpal tunnel syndrome. So we looked at this and said, let's address that. Come up with products that have tremendous efficacy that will power the performance of gamers, give them a healthy lifestyle, educate them about nutrition, um, and, and really uh, foster health, wellness, and nutrition in a gaming world that previously has been Doritos and Red Bull and all the other kind of, kind of uh, food groups that we, we don't co-sign you know, as, as, as good. So that, that was really the, the, the origin uh, behind it. We just produced a three volume ebook on the top 25 gaming injuries, how to prevent them and or how to treat them, um, which I'm more than happy to share with whoever wants it. They can email me, uh, more than happy to send that out. So there is um, a tremendous amount of need for education about your body and the demands that gaming has on it. 
And, and I think you go back five years, you know, people thought gaming was just people sitting uh, kind of in the corner of a couch in a basement, antisocial, um, acne scarred people just gaming. And it's not that at all. It's, it's the antithesis of that. And then you start seeing all the universities and colleges that have academic scholarships for gamers. The, your physical well-being has to be elevated to compete at that level. And, and that's why we created the products. That's why we created the, the job board for somebody to upload their resume. We'll match them with every gaming job based upon their skill set, not their job title. That's why we're creating six neuroscience games to help people understand uh, where they, they look, uh, what their skill is on spatial awareness, speed, accuracy, um, target discrimination, and things like that. You know, it's interesting that you've entered the esports ecosystem in this um, area. Uh, I've previously had the Gamer Doc and Psych Sensei as guests. And, you know, you happen to provide the products. And, you know, so that's really interesting. Have you had um, esports athletes um, come to you with stories about how your product has helped your products have helped them or about their specific challenges yeah, yeah without a doubt um, I think that the 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 hero product if, if you will is the topical pain relief I mean uh, you know when you're playing with your hands all day it just gets stiff no matter what you're going to do um, and our topical pain relief is is phenomenal it just works I mean it's um, some of the stories I get from gamers you know, that have the product is they say, my, my grandmother takes it because it helps her rheumatoid arthritis or some you know, my father has tennis elbow, so he's grabbing it kind of thing. You know, we have a few sponsorships uh, with influencers. Uh, one significant one is a fellow by the name of Troy Field, who is a professional volleyball player and a significant streamer. Troy practices volleyball in the morning and he, and he lathers his shoulder up with the pain relief. And then after he streams, it's on his fingers and his hands. So it works for inflammation anywhere, but especially for gamers, because you know, you've got, and you, you might know better than I, I believe the statistic is that a gamer is utilizing 200 moves a minute or something like that with their, you know, their hands, their eyes, their fingers and what have you. That repetitive motion is just gonna cause discomfort and pain. And we address that. So yes, we have lots of anecdotal um, evidence, and a lot of people. I get text messages all the time saying, "I need more samples. Send me more samples, and what have you." So yeah, it it it, it does work. Um, I think the other area that um, I'm for whatever reason um, I I love it is that uh, the healthy eye product. You know, we don't really understand the damage that the blue light's having on us on everything when we game or on the computer, we're on our phone. So be able to reduce that and to reduce eye strain is critical because macular health, especially as you age, is just so important. Nobody really thinks about that. And that's a whole nother area that our formula is great. It's based upon a national institute of health formula for healthy eyes. You know, it's interesting that you mention um, people that are not uh, gamers who use your products uh, effectively. So I, I realize your target market it are the esports athletes and gamers, but um, are you finding more and more that uh, you have an extended target market in, you know, amongst those who are not gamers? Yes. Um, you know, we look at that and pardon the, uh, the pun as our Halo audience. Um, and if you look at um, households around the world, the penetration of a gaming device is up in the 90% because of the growth of mobile gaming, right? So there are a lot of people that game that really don't self-identify as a gamer because they're playing words with friends eight hours a week. But if you were to ask them, they're not a gamer, uh, but they are, right? Because they're playing eight hours a week, they're competitive, they wanna beat their friends, they wanna get better at it, but they're as much of a gamer as somebody on a Call of Duty team in, in significant ways. So the market of gamers is pretty significant. There's 3 billion people gaming every day 
around the world. But in direct answer to your question, sure. Um, people that game with their parents and their parents are tennis players are going, oh, my God, um, I got to put that on my elbow. Um, and, I, and I get it from some of our, the agencies that we work with um, that they're not true gamers in the true definition of the world, even though they, they, they game. And those are the ones that, oh, my God, this is like incredible. The, the one thing about gamers, um, and I think it's a challenge in the early onset of health, wellness and nutrition in gaming is gamers to a large extent think they're invincible. Right. So they don't really acknowledge pain or they go, ah, it's no big thing. Um, as they get older, um, they're going to see that manifest and go, oh, wait a second, I, I need to treat that. Um, as you know, again, most people don't realize the average age of a gamer is 37 and it's split basically, you know, 50, 50 male, female. Um, and I love, and I don't know if you have this experience when I'm with non-gamers and they all say, you're, what do you do? You're in gaming. I don't understand health, wellness and gaming. Why do they need it? And all that kind of stuff. And you ask them the average age of a gamer and they'll go 16, 17, you say 37. And it's like, whoa, what do you mean 37? Right? So that market is very, very ripe for nutrition. And that's true. We don't have a vitamin series out yet. I think we will in time, um, but vitamins are going to be critical. One of the things with our electrolyte boost product is we can add more vitamins. So it has glycine in it, vitamin C plus magnesium and all the other electrolytes. But that's an easy product for us to put vitamin E in it. We can put non-caffeine energize in it because there's some really cool ingredients now. Uh, actually, in two weeks, I'm speaking on eSports at the Supply West Ingredient Show in Las Vegas. So I'm going to have a kick talking to them about what they should be creating from um, a healthy substance uh, for gamers. Because gamers, gaming is just going to grow. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So the average age of a professional eSports athlete would be more in the range of 18 to 25. Right. Do you see your products as extending the um, the life of a uh, competitive esports athlete? Yeah, I wouldn't go so far as to say we can extend it as much as I would love to say that these drugs are miracles and I can give you three more years of gaming. Um, that, that, that would be hyperbole and I'd sound like an ad guy. Um, huh? No, but, but I do think what we can do is make the years that you're gaming uh, more comfortable, pain-free, um, teach you how to stretch. And that may give you longevity um, as a gamer uh, because you will reduce your incident or probability of injury. You'll sleep better, uh, which may have an impact on how long you can game. But I'd be hard pressed to say, use our suite uh, of, of products and you get three extra years of, 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 of a COD team. Uh, no, but I think what we, we do uh, by the, the wide breadth of things that we offer is that we can make gaming more comfortable. I think we will make you healthier. I think what, what ends up also happening is people, as they're using our products, they become more aware of their general health and wellness. So they're probably going to drink less sodas and they're probably going to uh, maybe have an extra salad as opposed to a pizza. Because when you start thinking about health, wellness, and nutrition, and you start thinking about um, how do I reduce the inflammation in my body? Um, and our products help do that. But it's also an insight of some of the other things that you can do in your life. Um, and that will, I do believe, will make it easier to play longer. But I wouldn't, as I said, say we're extending the career. Um, but if you want to say that we are, be more than happy to use that quote. Um, <laughs> but no. <laughs> um, okay, so we're looking at um, products that um, help um, health and wellness of esports athletes. How does health and wellness in gaming compare with that for traditional sport? Great question. Uh, right now, it's nascent. Um, there are very few, albeit some, um, esport organizations that are bringing in nutritionists that have um, a very, very low level uh, education program, right? It, it, it'll, 
it'll do things like stretch your thumb or stretch your wrist or stretch your back and take some breaks. There's so much more to it. And that's why if you were to look at the 25 injuries that uh, the gamers sustain, uh, most people would be hard pressed to come up with 25, but there are 25 and our ebook has pictures of them and, 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 and certainly uh, recommendations and suggestions of how to treat and how to prevent. Uh, but because of the growth and the opportunities in gaming, and, and when we talk about the opportunities in gaming and esports, you know, gamers have a tendency to age out early, right? An esports professional, as you said, they're, they're aging out fairly early. Well, what do they do? You know, the air traffic controllers, the FAA, literally is, is recruiting gamers for air traffic controllers. It makes perfectly good sense. That's a long career, right? They can do that forever and a day. Same thing with the military. They're hiring gamers for the drone programs. They outfly the pilots. So even though esports athletes may age out in their early to mid 20s, there's an entire career opportunity that's based upon that skill set that they're going to need this foundational health, wellness, knowledge, and implementation so that they can do that longer. Sure. And the very first show that I had was interviewing. Major General Frank Muth, who start, was one of the uh, people who started U.S. Army esports. And we talked about how the U.S. Army uses those skills in across different um, military operations. And, you know, so I think, I think it has such broad application. And it seems like your company is interested in educating that um, segment of the population. Um, to understand a little bit more about health and wellness. That, is that, that correct? Is absolutely a high priority in the ethos of our company. It is also our biggest challenge because we're talking to a group of people that really haven't made the connection that my, my wrist hurts or my back hurts or I'm not sleeping. And where is that solution that has been created for me? So we're bridging that gap. I mean, the one comment I did want to say, Ahmad Green, who is a Hall of Famer from the Green Bay Packers and the esports coach at Lakeland University, um, he and I, he's, on, he's at one of our advisors. Um, but what he has done as the esports coach at Lakeland is literally taken his entire uh, protocol from a football, you know, being a, a running back with the Green Bay Packers, and he puts his teams through the exact same training protocol. And, and the diet and the nutrition, um, and he replicates it. He said, because you, you have to have that to really be at the top of your game. And I think esports athletes, and especially those that want to be esports athletes, have to start earlier to maximize their physical and psychological um, well being in order to compete at the level. Because as you well know, the more money that goes into the sport, the more competition there's going to be, which means if you want to succeed, you have to be the best version of yourself. And health, wellness, and nutrition is a critical aspect of that. Now, do you um, sell your products outside of the United States? And do you have to get any particular approval um, um, for you to sell? Like any government agencies have to like uh, uh, certify your um, uh, product. Yeah. So we do not currently sell outside of the United States, but we are uh, finalizing distribution in China um, as we speak. Uh, the challenge is not that we can't sell out of the country. The shipping cost is prohibitive. So mm. for shipping, you know, for us to send something to Canada is almost three times the cost of the product. So it doesn't make sense. You need to figure out the fulfillment um, and what have you. Um, in terms of government uh, approval, the entire supplement world is dietary supplements. It is not um, FDA um, required. We can't make certain claims as a result of that. We do have some products that we're looking at that will have OTC or drug sign off, uh, which will then have to go through the FDA approval process, but most everything that you see in all the energy drinks um, are not FDA approved and nor do they need to be. Um, the only other thing that we have in our pain relief is um, CBD and CBD 
has, depending on who you talk to, um, is sanctioned, not sanctioned. The FDA has not formally approved CBD in any particular form. Um, so federally, it's not supported, but it's everywhere and anywhere. So it is legal, but depending on where you are, CBD is an issue. You can't sell CBD products on Amazon, for mm. example, right? So, okay. and people are, they just call it hemp, right? Okay. So it's hemp oil. Um, sure. There's a lot of confusion between what is hemp, THC, CBD, and, and what have you. But that's the only ingredient that we have to be careful with. Um, our CBD is farmer grade CBD. It's 99.9% .9 pure CBD. There's no THC, so you're not going to get high. You're not going to get buzzed. And it's, it's really just an, a tremendous anti-inflammatory agent with the other uh, base formula that we have. But from the legal requirement, no, it's, it, it's all good. You can ship, you can send it to Canada. You can actually send CBD to Canada, which you couldn't two years ago. And I do think in the next two years, uh, CBD will be legal. Well, the interesting thing with professional sports, so golf, not a problem uh, with CBD. Baseball is not a problem. The NFL, and we're affiliated with the NFL Alumni Association and the Retired Players Congress, is the NFL has no restriction on CBD, except the players cannot uh, commercialize it pictorially. Oh, okay. They can use it, they, but they, they just can't endorse it um, in a commercial, which I, I, I go figure that one out, I don't know. I, I think some of that, without getting too political, is the pharmaceutical companies. They okay. wanna own the CBD space, as opposed to right now, it's kind of anybody and everybody. But um, I think another two years, um, CBD will be everywhere. But there was, a, there was a period of time with the CBD, you, if you had it, you couldn't get a bank account. Oh, I see. CBD, yeah. because it's not federally supported. Now that's not an issue. So we're, you know, baby steps. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I, I know I'm interested in your products, and I'm sure a lot of people watching are. How can they uh, find them? www.skins.gg. Um, just go on there. We you buy it and go out the next day. Okay, fantastic. Well, Gary, thank you so much. We appreciate your being on the show. Um, and uh, thank you to our viewers for joining us today. Next week, my guest will be Mark Depp, the director of UCI Esports to talk about collegiate esports. See you then. Mm -hmm.